Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Happy weekend. Let's get into your reading. You know to take what resonates, never force anything to fit. Literally, I just looked at the clock and it said 12-12. So we will see what is to come. Take what resonates um, and always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. I'm giving away three free personal love readings for this month. So for those of you that haven't gone ahead and subscribed yet, go ahead and do that so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. New and returning subscribers, leave a vacation emoji down below. Or the word vacation. That way you're letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway. Um, at the end of each and every month, I will randomly choose those people to win that specific giveaway for that month. And I'll remind all of you the very last weekend of the month to check your notifications. Like I said, three people will be hearing from me. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Some of you are going to be proposed to. Some of you are getting that flashy jewelry on your hand. Others of you are getting down on one knee. Yes, this relationship is worth giving a chance. Working on your partnership and children. This could be you having children, Sagittarius, them having children. There's three dogs here because she's holding a puppy in her hands. This is my life. And if this used to come out in other tarot readers' readings when I would watch them, you know. And I still watch them. There's specific ones I watch now just because I don't really have the time anymore. But with this, I have two children in my life. My niece and my fiancé's daughter. I have three dogs now when I only had one. And I would think this reading isn't for me. I don't have two children, you know. Um, I don't anticipating having children more because of a health reason, but I, I'm not anticipating it. So this isn't for me and three dogs. Hell no. I only have one. Well, now I have three to my hell no. And I have two kids that are with me more than I ever thought they would be. I only had my niece really in my life and now I have my fiance's daughter. So... Things do work out. So for those of you that want to say, oh, you know what? This isn't my reading. Just hold out. All right. Let's see what messages need to come through. Giving this relationship a chance for Sagittarius spirit engagement. I knew exactly what I was doing. I feel someone pushed you away. Someone was guarded. I wonder if you are happy without me. Kind of four of cups type energy. Feeling like you're the one that got away, Sagittarius. The fact that they still wonder about you means that they're still thinking about you often. Finding out the truth crushed me. This could be some truth that was revealed. You know, maybe someone's ex reached out to them and they met halfway to talk about the children it's going to be different but finding out the truth crushed me and i want to tell you how i feel this person wants to open up sagittarius they want to communicate with you yeah i do feel that they're realizing that there's they've got this form of unconditional love here they see long term with you abundance happiness and you might have reached out to them. They may have reached out to you. One of you may not have responded. One of you may have found out the other was blocked. Cross watchers, take it how it resonates. Yeah. I feel someone, I just heard someone saying, I will never talk to him again. I will never forgive her. Let's see what this shows. my Sagittarian spirit, past, present, 
and future, okay? Past, King of Swords type energy. Someone very guarded. Someone who basically throws their hands up in the air before crossing them over their chest and saying, you know what? It is what it is. The Seven of Coins. I gotta say, I feel like this air sign or someone who's got very strong air in their chart has realized that they have deep feelings for you. You've made this impression. You've planted these seeds. And the egg is about to crack. And the death card. Evolving in growth. Spirit coming through. With the three of wands. The ships coming in. The action being taken. And the sun card. Saying no need to worry. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Spirit, please clarify this king of swords energy. Get ready to celebrate. A leap of faith is being taken. They're attracted to you, Sagittarius. They view you as such a strong companion. Someone who had direction in their life. You knew exactly what you wanted. Three of Cups could be children. Three of Cups could be juggling of jobs. Co-parenting, single parenting. But this is a reason to celebrate this leap of faith being taken. I've got two kings here. So for those of you that um, resonate with the same sex in terms of love. All right, Spirit, please clarify seven of coins. What is getting ready to hatch in Sagittarius's life? I'll show you what didn't flip over, but I know it's part of the story. A decision being made. This person is taking themselves out of the crossroads. They miss you, Sagittarius. I also feel that the divine there's divine guidance in the separation right now. In the pause between you and them. You being redirected away from each other in that moment. Healing, purging and releasing, rejuvenating energy flowing through both of you separately. And I do feel it will be within divine timing that you find each other on your path. The seven of coins is the nine of cups. The knight of wands and the seven of cups. This person is prioritizing. They're figuring out their responsibilities. You are a huge temptation in their life, Sagittarius. And now being in separation from you, they realize you were their wish fulfillment. For, for some of them, you know, for those that resonate, those, that kind of revelation that Sagittarius is my wish fulfillment. I got to do whatever it takes to figure this out, to give my relationship a chance. And Spirit, why the death card? The Eight of Cups and the Strength. There is a closing out of a chapter. Like I said, it very well may be the balance of someone who is still dealing with their ex because they have children and the ex calls and calls and calls and texts and says, well, you know, it's Sally's so-and-so and Sally says she want you there. And then you go and Sally says, mom, dad, I didn't say that. Mom said that. I didn't say that. It's that type of energy. You know what I mean? And there's that walking away. The notable growth that needed to happen, the notable ending that needed to happen for both of you to figure out your priorities, figure out your responsibilities, and then long term, seeing forever with one another. Let's see, we'll get additional clarity. For my Sagittarian spirit. My Sagittarius. There it is again. 
Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. This is worth fighting for. There it is, the King of Swords coming out, coming over to you saying, you know what? You left me this lasting feeling, thanks. I was stern, I knew what I wanted. I've been through a lot of turmoil to get me to this type of energy. And you, meeting you and your energy and what you have going on in your life, what you consider home in terms of children and pets or whatever, there's a special place in my heart and I'm lowering my sword for you. I feel like it's taken some time for them to get to you, Sagittarius. They might have needed to work on their finances or child support or pay for a divorce or, you know, whatever. Yeah, but they are working through their burdens. Looking at things from a different perspective. In this pause, they can't stop thinking about you. They realize they want to give this relationship a chance. You know, in prior to you, yes, they had connections, but they weren't noticed. You know, I, and I, some people say they like when I share my stories. I met my fiance, right? And he had no cologne. No cologne. He had no sunglasses. I remember one of our first dates, he put on these glasses, sunglasses. And, I, and I'm, again, I'm not a materialistic person, but he had a wife. He had children, like Father's Day, birthday. What? Do, why don't you have these things? Again, it's not something that everyone needs to have. I'm just saying what stuck out in my mind. I said, what are, what are those... What are those sunglasses? He would kill me that I'm sharing this with you. And he said, my safety glasses for work. I said, that's what you use for sun? Are you crazy? No, no, absolutely. So yes, I mean, he did wear them. And then the first birthday or the first time I was shopping and when he wasn't with me, I was like, you know, you don't know if sunglasses work on everyone, but I did the best I could. He still has them to this day. And now he has many pair. He didn't have cologne, and now he has many bottles. My whole point being, he wasn't ever noticed, you know? She didn't care to notice him. She didn't care to do extra for him. She didn't care to make him a priority. You know, she didn't, and she never, you know, I'm not bad-mouthing anybody. That's, that's whatever cycle you're in at that point. However, this person went unnoticed, and that's what got them to this King of Swords energy. However, you being in their life, Sagittarius, left something warm right there. They might have sworn, oh, I could never be with somebody who's got kids. Oh my God, they have three dogs? Are you? No way. But you gave, you and what you had going on in your life, gave them that warm feeling. Something they couldn't shake. That's what they're coming back to tell you. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, and oh my goodness. And just as I tell that story, look, the ball and chain. They were weighed down by previous experiences prior to you. And now you cause them that energy to want to spring into action, to want to look forward to the excitement, a brand new beginning. And there's a good omen over this. Pay attention to feathers. Pay attention to birds. Leaving emotional baggage in the past. And Sagittarius, seriously, I don't even have Sagittarius in my chart and neither does he. And I that, that situation just popped in my head about my, my past. Leaving the emotional behind you, the emotional baggage behind you. And a good omen overseeing this connection. Anything else for Sagittarius? I was just about to say there is a higher level of um, a spiritual level overseeing this connection. Guiding you towards one another. Guiding you through the difficulties. For those of you in separation, and that's what I'm picking up on, uniting and feeling safe with one another to overcome these challenges. Plotting a course of action together and being very strong about seeing it through. 
All right, let's see. Final messages, Spirit for Sagittarius. All right. Wellness and independence. Working on self-worth. You know, a good part of a King of Swords or a Queen of Swords type energy is losing a good bit of themselves because of, because of, you know, relationships that didn't work. Because they weren't made a priority. They weren't a focus in anyone's eyes. So they did. They focused on their independence. They focused on their self-worth. Took back their health. Rejuvenated and healed themselves. But you always stuck out in their mind. This mind over matter type of person is realizing, mm, I can't stop thinking about Sagittarius. There's something here. I need to see it through. All right. We have S A L T N. E O F and then the rest are repeats, right? Yeah. So take what resonates, leave that um rainbow oh, not rainbow. Dude, that was like months ago a rainbow. Vacation emoji down below in the comment section, letting me know you're interested in the three free love readings I'm giving away. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, Sagittarius. Click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. There is limited availability throughout the summer, but you can head over and take advantage of it. Love and light.